Good day YouTube. Um, just potting around the man cave today, sorting out my stuff for our upcoming hunt with uh, Techmate 9591, TOT01 and a manual. I think I've got most of my stuff covered now, so I thought I'd just uh, make up a video of what I'm going to be taking. First up I've just got, um, this will be my hunting pack, day pack, and the stuff I'll be carrying on my actual person. So what I've got here is my blaze on each cap. My the knife I'll be carrying is my Condor Bushlaw. And then I've just got a little belt pouch, which is basically like a fire kit. So it's got a Swiss Army knife and fire steel. A little candle. My little fire kit, which is just some alfoil, a little big lighter, some cotton balls, uh, and some char cloth. So in there is some um, duct tape right around the card. Okay, so we'll get into the main pack now. Starting up from the outside, got my emergency whistle, also a night nice bright orange thing so uh, might be easier to see me from the back. In this front pocket I've got my Sawyer Screws water filter and I've also got one of the pouches that comes with it. I think that one's a 16 ounce whatever that is. I might actually get a bigger one. I'll put the bigger one in. So that's a, a leader, I think, that one there. A couple of bags, that's just a big Ziploc bag and that's a big like garden rubbish bag, bright orange again, high vis. My compass, just a uh, thing of sunscreen. My 4.7s Mini M2A flashlight. Um, wet ones. Well, it's just a little mini fishing kit that I just knocked up. Bought those uh, for a couple of dollars each, those little match containers. They've got a ferro rod on the bottom, a little mirror inside. And I've just thrown some hooks, sinkers, and swivels, and then wrapped it with a fair bit of fishing line on there. In this pocket, a buff. And an emergency space blanket. It's in there, yep. I'm trying to keep this fairly light but still comprehensive. So in this pocket, I've just got my um, that'll actually be on my wrist, paracord bracelet, and a little bit of paracord. This top pocket is just where I keep my GPS, but that'll also probably just clip onto one of the shoulder straps while I'm using it. Okay, and also on this side I've got a Expedition Roly Poly in case I want to take another bottle of water. But I've also got my Geiger Rig hydration engine in here, which is capable of carrying three litres of water. I think that's going to be um, essential for where we're going and how hot it's going to be. Okay, on the inside. So my first aid kit in here. Mostly bandages for snake bites. There's more bandages there, there. That's a compression bandage. In here is just some medicine, and there's also a little mirror, so if you need to look at something on your face or use it as a signal mirror. Uh, there's various just bandages and band-aids and antiseptic wipes and that sort of thing there. Some uh, soothe for bug bites, a bit of betadine, the speed lighter, some tape and some scissors. Oh, and there's some um, 
latex gloves in there as well for the case I have to operate on someone or cut up some animals. This pocket, more cordage, just got some jute twine and a bandana. It'll probably come in handy, wet it down and hang it around my neck to keep it cool. I've also got my shamag. That might be handy if there's a lot of wind and dust, which seems to be the way at the moment, around here. Some leather gloves. A poncho, also in there is enough uh, cordage for ridge line and to stake it out, which is where these come in. Two ABS plastic stakes. All kind of, also can be used for digging or setting traps if I really wanted to. And my binoculars. I don't know how much use they're going to be on this trip because from what I've seen of Giotti's videos, the area we're going to looks fairly dense, so uh, the tree, like the forest, looks pretty dense. So I don't know if they're going to be any much use, but I'll take them anyway. And that's pretty much it for my day kit. So that'll be the kit that I take hunting with me. There'll also be some ammo, which is in another bag at the moment. and. Um, a few little gun care things, just in case. Okay, so I'll stop the video and set up the next pack and show you that. Okay, so this will be my, basically my camping stuff, my base camp bag, I suppose you could call it. This bag's not really what I intended this for. It's a new bag, I haven't used it yet. It's a um, snug pack. Sleek Force 35, so this will be the first time I've been using it, will be using it. Uh, I intended to use it as more of a compact kit and I've got a bivy and an air mattress and a, uh, the poncho to, that normally goes with this, but for this trip I've packed my, my hammock, uh, I think for the summer months and the hotter weather it'll be more pleasant, plus it's also got the built-in bug screen. So. I won't have to worry about bugs at night. So I'll go through what I've got in here. On the outside, just um, attached with some little bungee ball toggle things is my sleeping bag, with the down sleeping bag. Probably won't need to actually get in that. Probably just lie on top of it. Probably keep me warm enough. I've got a stainless steel cup there. Here I've just got uh, inside the bungees on the front of the pack, my little Felinox camp chair. Then in this front mesh pouch, the backup knife, which will be my Mora Triflex, that one is. And I've got the uh, good old Barco Laplander. And my sharpening kit, which just consists of a bit of leather glued to some MDF for stropping and a whetstone and a, a diamond stone there. That's good enough to get in and off. I've got pretty sharp. Got some of these outside pockets. I haven't got all my food and everything packed in here yet, but that will be the case when I'm ready to go. Little spares kit, batteries, carabiner, tenacious tape for the tarp or the hammock if it rips, toilet paper and toothpaste, put a toothbrush in there. A pocket. This pocket I have another bag and squeeze water filter so so far I've got that five litres capability. My spork, a uh, little brew kit, hot chocolate, tea, sugar. That's it in there. So just on the top here, it's my new mess kit which I haven't even used yet.
It is a, um, what do you call it, snow peak. Not titanium though. I thought it was a titanium when I bought it, but looking back it was only like $20. <laughs> Probably would have been a very good bargain if it was. But it uh, comes with a little fry pan. Inside this thing, which has also got handles, is just some little, a little container of, of uh, this stuff, the super wash or super concentrate luminous wash. So it's for washing hands and dishes and whatever else I need to wash. Got another bandana in, bandana in there, my little hiking stove, some, uh, I don't know what you call that stuff, a little mesh stuff for scrubbing pots, weighs nothing, takes up no room. And then a little gas canister. So there's my little mess kit. Which uh, may be the only way we're allowed to cook, given the fact that uh, Lithgow is on fire at the moment. We may not be allowed to have a campfire if it's a type of fire band, so that may be the only way we'll be able to cook. Hopefully not, especially if we get some some game. It's not really uh, much fun trying to cook a goat on a little camp stove like that. So, further on. That's my underquilt. Probably a bit of overkill for this weather, but the good thing with an underquilt is once you've got it on, you can just flop it to the other side and not have it warming you without having to get out of the hammock. So if it does get cold, I can put it back and be toasty warm again. It's my hammock, which I've done videos on before. That's a tarp actually, three by three tarp. Well, this is just a spare clothes bag. In there I've got some um, Thermal underwear, merino thermal underwear, in case it does get cold, we will be in the mountains, so you never know. It probably won't be needed, but just in case. And there's my hammock for the DD front line. So as well as this bag, which I can't fit in here, will be a big ass pillow, because I can't sleep in my hammock without it. But we are car camping, so I won't have to carry this bag very far. So having a, a pillow on my arm is not going to be much of a deal. Alright, so I'll pack all that stuff up and get on to the fun stuff with the guns. Actually, I won't be getting onto the guns just yet because there's still more in this pack that I forgot to tell you about. In here, some bug spray, Bushman insect spray, my little head torch. This is just my little tripod for the camera. Handy little thing to have. And then the camera is also attached to the front. Uh, also, I'll probably take, take with me for night time. Plus a little hurricane lantern. Put citronella in that and it helps keep the, bug, keep the bugs away as well. Okay, so I think, yep, that's everything. Alright, we'll get to the guns.